had just given birth. Now I'm a little rested. I have my big sister here. I feel safe enough to tell the story, my side of the story. So you guys have heard one side. Here's the other side. Oh, the people are joining on my own like, hi, I lost my page. <laughs> yeah, my sister lost her page. We got hacked. So please follow this new page. I swear there are like my one sister. million people uh, with my name right now. I don't know what's going on. She has literally up to 50 at least pages of Nancy Ume, which is fake pages. So please follow my sister's pages, not yet verified. And just try to make her rise above the, all the fake pages because there are too many fake pages. Okay. Right, so. Mommy, 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 have a cookie. Yeah, you can have a cookie. Mommy, 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 have a mommy. No, it's mine. Okay. <laughs> you want to give someone a cookie? And says it's mine. <laughs> okay, anyways, um, so. How did you find yourself here? Right now? <laughs> because, I mean. You were happily married, what, three months ago? Oh, we were happily married online three months ago. <laughs> so, what's happened? What happened to you? But to the best of my knowledge, I was happily married, you know? I was pregnant. We were not having as much mm -mm as we were because, I, you know, but to the best of my knowledge, I was happily married. Um, we've had our own ups and downs, as every couple will. Um, but to the best of my knowledge, we were good. Okay. So, it uh, looks like, um, for a whole month, um, a lot of things were being said online that I really needed to clarify because the moment you Google Cora Obidi's marriage problems or divorce, the first thing, I'm, and I'm going to do this on Google, the first thing you see is, um, you know, it's, uh, well, I say a blog post about you being a chronic cheat. So, how true is this? But by chronic cheat, I mean someone that is constantly cheating on a husband um, who deserves to be divorced because every single time, every every single time, um, you know, there's a justification for whatever he's doing. It's always, oh, how about how? How would you feel if you were cheated on? And there's no way you wouldn't insult her in front of the children too. You know, that kind of stuff. So it's always a, you know, the defense is always based on the fact that it's been put out there that you are a chronic cheat. So how true is that? And what, what do you have to say about that? I'm not a chronic cheat. <laughs> I am far from a chronic cheat. Um, I'm just a woman who was honest to her husband. Um, before I came to America, I was, it was during the Trump's tenure. I was very like, do I even want to live in America? I have my career here in Nigeria. I don't know if I want to move. I love this guy, but I'm not sure. I was very, very indecisive. And I tasted from Pandora's box. I had an affair. That affair lasted like one date. I felt bad about it, but I had not moved to America. Upon getting to America, I was very, very sad that I had made that mistake with the guy that I love. And I told him the truth. I said, hey, I had an affair in Nigeria and I don't want us to ever have secrets. So here's the deal. I had an affair before I got here. He was like, how can you cheat on me, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I'm sorry. This was before I ever got here. We got, we came, I came here to America on a fiance visa. So when I got here is when we got legally married and I told him, I'm sorry, he said you cheated on me. I said, I don't wanna leave you, you're the one who I love and that was that about that. However, for the duration of my marriage, I think that was the worst, worst, that was the worst thing that I ever did for myself in that marriage because I was trying to have closure with this man, but I I just shot myself in the foot with that. Okay, so we all know, we all know it's very hard to forgive uh, cheating. I wouldn't. <laughs> I already told you guys before, I wouldn't. 
um, because I just feel like you know people are very aware of what they're doing at every point in time. Um, but what was his response to this apology? Right. He said, "Okay, he's fine with it, and we can go on." You know, but then after that, it was not fine because he would go out, he would get drunk, he would come back, he would call me all sorts of names. Okay. I don't want to. Sh should I go? Well, well, yeah, I think we, all, we understand uh, the gist. But the thing is, what I want to actually talk about now is something that has been going on um, when this divorce thing started. You know, there was this rumor about his mistress and how everybody was talking about, oh, but he has a, an 18 year old. Mommy, what? A cookie. It's a cookie, yeah. So, you know. Yummy. This guy has uh, an 18 year old mistress and you know I kept saying oh what is this news you know all around social media they were like oh but his girlfriend oh but his girlfriend his mistress and I'm like okay who's this person and I asked my sister are you aware come come I asked my sister are you aware um are you aware of this am I aware of the I are you aware of this situation and she said to me well, it's not been verified. And then this supposed uh, mistress reached out to me. And, you know, I'm just going to let her do her thing. I'm going to sort June out and I'll be back. But, like, she has, she has evidence. She has evidence of everything that has happened. The truth is, this guy is projecting all that he has done on her. Okay, so everything that he has come out to say, without any evidence whatsoever, you know, screenshots of nobody's number, just screenshots of, of things, without any evidence, it's a projection of exactly who he is. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it to her to drop the receipts because she needs to clear the air. And I'm here as a big sister. I came here for, I'm here for only a few days. And I need to leave my sister in a state of mind where she's not even scared because this girl is scared to even... She's scared. She's like, God, I can't even say anything because it's like, oh, my own country people are against me. Black people are against me. Everybody's like, oh, just shut up, take the abuse, keep your mouth shut. Well, after all, you got this and this and this and this. But nobody is really talking about who this person really is. So I'm just going to leave it to her to show you the receipts of his affair, of, you know, all that he has done. Um... Him saying, Oh, I love my children so much, but he, <laughs> these children are mistakes to him, according to his mistress. Okay, so it's like, mm, What's going on? And this is verified. This lady is aware. She's she's reached out to me, she's reached out to my sister. Um, she's she's angry because she was promised, um, she was promised love, she was promised, you know, a divorce, she, she was promised all sorts of new life from Brazil. She never got any of that, and then she has been blocked from his social media, and she's really angry about that. So that is why I'm going to leave her to do her thing, um, show you the receipts so that you guys know. Because when people are accusing people of cheating and destroying people's names online, it's not funny, okay, at all. I don't want to go on Google and Google my family and see that somebody is accusing someone wrongly. All over YouTube, all over yeah, Google, Instagram, everywhere. It's like, oh, this girl is such a cheat. She's a cheat. But then the person who is cheating chronically to the point where, you know, <laughs> anyways, I'll let her do her thing so that you guys can see the truth. And, you know, this is all evidence. There is, it's, the evidence is there for you guys to review. So, Julie. <sighs> okay. I'm not gonna cry. This is not a crying video. I have my big sister here, so why am I crying? I'm not crying. Cora is not a crying girl. Cora is just the girl who is coming to take back her narrative. Woo! Take back my narrative. I am not a chronic cheat. I am not a narcissist. I am not all those things that he said online. He is those things, and this is why. Um, they have been... I lost a pregnancy. They have been proof beyond all reasonable doubt that I was in a in an abusive relationship. He came online 
and said, I'm getting a divorce. And as soon as he did that, straight into your, I'm tired of the narcissism, you're this, you're, you're this, and all of that stuff. I was just the woman who was just trying to say, I'm just a black woman who was building a brand and just trying to make it in Hollywood. And this man, um, I met him in Shanghai. It was like, it was almost like, like he was so good to be true. It was like he was a dream come true. Yeah. This is this is one video. Of he and his mistress in in Brazil. I want you guys to
were just telling me you are this, you're that, you're this, you're that. it really broke my heart. This is a chat. She was saying, um, how can you do this to me, basically? And he that's where he said, um, I think that was a mistake. So this is me clearing the air, guys. I am not the chief, and there's evidence. Um, she reached out to me and reached out to my sister. She's indeed hurt by him. And it's sad because um, she's a woman like me, and she's just 18 years old. She's 19. No. She's 19 now. She was 18, but right? I, she was 18 when it happened. Um, It's just a picture of them together. Why are you saying that he cheated? Um, but yeah, feels good to be exonerated. Um, do not believe everything you see online. And I chose this path to share my life. I knew there was going to be con there were going to be consequences. Um, I wasn't I wasn't naive to that fact. However, I thought that I had a strong family unit, you know, and uh, we were like, I was honest and I told him everything and I wanted our bond to be unbreakable, you know. Um, if I'm going to be honest, um, he, Brazil was, after he learned that I, after I was honest with him and I told him, hey, I did this before marriage and he did this in Brazil. Um, but what I, what I know for a fact is he swore on his kids that he never did it when he got back from Brazil. And it hurts that he said that his daughter was a mistake. Other than that, I wish everyone a good life. I wish we all succeed in our endeavors. And I wish God gives us the strength to be the best parents to our kids um unfortunately it had to end this way and i and because he went online to say he was divorcing me and just said all these horrible things just right after i gave birth i was not able to be in the right frame of mind and i'm just grateful that that she reached out to yeah. me with all of this pictorial evidence and evidence of the chats and everything which i will post um I'm just grateful for that. Um, but yeah, I'm in therapy. Therapy is good, guys. Get therapy. Therapy is what is helping me regain my voice and it's helping me find my opinion again. Um, for those of you who are still not believing the woman, because it's easy to say shut up woman sit down in the house sit down in the abuse it's and it's 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 okay you don't have to but this is an official declaration of the fact that hey i'm not a serial chief and i'm not a narcissist and this is just life 101 so oh, if wait, you learn um, anything from my story um so i just I'm here to be sure that you know you are okay. Um, uh, there's, a, there's been so many messages. Oh, I'm scared for Kara's life. I'm I'm worried. There's no need to be worried. It's good for everybody's bum bum to be outside. Let everybody's linen be washed outside, not just one person's linen. And the reason I've been speaking out is because you, know, I'm not going to Google my family and see trash about my family from somebody else. No, he came out to say, oh, sorry. It wasn't accurate. The first thing he said about being a serial cheat was wrong. And then he went ahead and doubled down on that false, you know, uh, presentation and just gave the world back to back uh, lies without any evidence. So this is us saying that, look, all those things are projections of him. He's himself projecting it on others as if, oh, if I cheated this way, then you definitely cheated too. But no. Not everybody is the same. I think people are honest enough to tell you, okay, this happened in the past, and you forgave them. 
then you don't have any right to go and tarnish an, an entire family's image online uh, for something that you claim you forgave her about. Okay, so this is just setting the record straight. I hope you all have a fantastic day, night, wherever it is you are. Um, I'm happy that she was able to do this. This girl has been scared, shitless, very scared of doing anything, saying anything, oh my God. But like, listen, this, this abuse is, is gone. I, I keep telling you, it's, it's ended. Okay, this marriage is, is, is dissolved. There's no need to be scared anymore. All right, this is a, a lesson to all, you know, young women out there. If you've lost your voice, find it. Get ready, get your mind ready, and say your truth. Especially when your family, your life, your, everything about you is so public. Say your truth, let these children grow up, let them Google their parents and know that, okay, everybody, no, I shall. <laughs> it's not just one person. I know I'm just, I'm just kidding with you guys, but like, it's not fair for the narrative to just be twisted when the person who is doing all the talking is indeed guilty. Okay? So that's what we're here to say. It's the evidence. Whatever you want to do with it, do with it. I know it's a lot of, a lot of food for bloggers, but yay. She's in the right place of mind right now. She's, she's said her thing. Um, anybody that wants to go and refute anything, she got asked the mistress. She's there in Brazil. She's hoping to come to LA to get married to him. You know, go ask her. She's um, happy that she has been unblocked to continue her life with him. But like, that's, that's that. That happened. It happened, unfortunately, and, you know, it's unfair that only her gets the heat. Okay? Um, right. Why did I tell him? <laughs> I told him because I wanted closure. I wanted honesty in my relationship. And secret skill, guys. Secret skill. Just be honest and be an open book. It's the bit, it's a path to longevity. Yeah, so, I um, I told my then husband that I cheated on him because I felt like, hey, I did this in Nigeria and this is a new life. I'm sorry that I did that. You know, I, I was very stupid, young and naive. Um, but he made me regret it every day for the rest of my life. And... I'm not even gonna talk about all the things that he did to me physically and emotionally, you know, even prior to even finding out that 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 happened. Um, I regained my voice. I am no longer scared. I am no longer afraid. And I have you guys, and I have my family, and I do not have to be abused and take abuse. You do not have to sit through abuse. Abuse is abuse. It's not okay for anyone to put their hands on you. It's not okay for anyone to constantly belittle you. It's not okay for anyone to take jabs at you and tell you that something is wrong with you. You're insane and stuff like that daily. It's not okay. You don't need to sit through that. You can walk away. Please take that for my story. And let's move and forge ahead. Higher, higher we go. Hey, Nigeria, Ghana, Ghana, we are in Hollywood. Let's see what the future holds. It was great while it lasted. Um, the narrative was twisted at the end to jeopardize or ruin one party. Um, but thank God that God is God. I don't know what I would have done if this woman didn't reach out to me to tell me all of this that happened. I don't know what I would have done if... There was no evidence to show what was going on. Um, as, of, as of the time when he, he um, asked for the divorce, he came to the house while I was feeding Athena on my breast. He yanked my phone from my hands and deleted all the pictorial evidence of abuse. Um, the only thing that I was able to get was the ones that my, I had sent to my sister in tears. And she, she um, sent them back to me for the courts. You know, so... Um, Thank God. Thank God that this is finally um, coming out and yeah. I think that's enough. <laughs> yeah. You feel better. <sighs> mm -hmm. okay. okay guys. Um, thank you all so much for joining. Um, yeah. See her when next she's like whatever. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Bye.